Welcome Team DC. I'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown of how it's going to work. Um, so you'll have one minute for your elevator pitch and then 10 minutes to share your pre-recorded video. And if it goes over the 10 minutes, it will get cut off. Five minutes for the judges to ask questions. So that's about one question per judge. So please make sure to keep the questions and answers brief and about one to five minutes to score and transition. Each team will be um, up around 25 minutes total. So let's get this started and good luck to you all. So Team DC, you can now pre present your one minute elevator pitch. Imagine if you had the power to predict a cyber attack before it actually happened. You could defend your data and dollars. Imagine no more, because Asteria Cyber Solutions' fully functional prototype predicts that a file may contain malware. Our product, created by using artificial intelligence, Google TensorFlow, and publicly available government data, continuously improves from collective experience. Asteria, in conjunction with traditional virus scanners, presents a unique solution for small businesses to prevent day zero attacks. Tapping into a total addressable annual market of $3.3 billion, Asteria takes a proactive approach and provides customers with a freemium addition. We have filed for a business solution patent and are working with Google to develop our application for market use and with NetVision to conduct our first customer beta implementation. We are seeking a seed fund of $500,000 for a 20% equity stake in our company. Asteria is the future in cybersecurity and you, the investor, need to be a part of it. After hours of hard work from tutoring, I decided to save my money in a debit card. However, when I tried to use my debit card, it declined. After a call with my bank, I discovered that my money had been used in a place I'd never even been before. And although my bank refunded my money, this is not always the case. Recently, with the Colonial Pipeline and JBS Meat ransomware attacks, the issues regarding cybercrime and cybersecurity are as prevalent as ever. We are Asteria Cyber Solutions, defenders of the cyberspace. Hello, I'm Alicia Luthra, the Chief Executive Officer. Hello, I'm Ananya Nganti, the Chief Operating Officer. I'm Anita Rai, the Chief Marketing Officer. I'm Manav Gandhi, the Chief Finance Officer. I'm Sudish Swain, the Chief Technical Officer. A prevalent issue in our society is the lack of security against malware that is disguised as legitimate software, also known as Trojan Horse malware. These types of malware are known to remain dormant for a period of time. So when the user initially downloads the file, virus scanners deem the file safe. However, upon external influence, the file can take control of the user's computer and damage, disrupt, and steal information. This issue is pertinent today because municipalities and the government have had cases of cybercrime. To assess the effectiveness of popular virus scanners, we created a file called virus.exe, which contains Trojan horse malware. We scanned our file by 70 of the most popular commercialized scanners, such as McAfee, Bitdefender, and Norton, using the website VirusTotal, and none of the scanners reported the file as malicious. We know that scanners provide inaccurate results because the computer-produced PE header indicates the file we uploaded is classified as malicious. The problem lies in the fact that malicious code is not being picked up on by any virus scanner, leaving our computers vulnerable to theft. A serious cyber solutions product focuses on prevention by predicting the probability of a file containing malicious code. While traditional virus scanners take a reactive approach, our product takes a proactive approach by providing customers with prediction and prevention, which serves enhanced protection. We've created a functional prototype available on the web, which is demonstrated in this video. We uploaded the virus file, the same one we uploaded to virustotal.com to our application. To create our application, we developed machine learning code using Google TensorFlow. Using the publicly available data, we collected 150,000 files and extracted the program header of each file. We run our application on the cloud on Amazon Web Services for quick execution. Since our application uses machine learning, our model continuously improves from collective experience. So as more users use our application, the more accurate our product will become. After running, the model outputs the result of the file being approximately 99% malicious, which demonstrates our application's accuracy as no virus scanner was able to detect this. The diagram on the left demonstrates Asteria Cyber Solutions' innovative architecture. Before the user is able to download the file on their own computer, the file will be run on the cloud. Only when the file is accounted for as not malicious will the file then be downloaded on the user's computer.
Our vision is to save corporations from losing productivity and intellectual property by protecting data and networks. We expect to capture a large portion of the software-based cybersecurity market, which is growing more than 15% annually. Siri decided to focus on small to medium-sized businesses, which for us consist of companies that have less than 250 computers, and specifically target companies that hold personal identifiable information or essential data. There are approximately 30.2 million small businesses in the USA, as 64% of those actively use websites and collect customer data online, leaving them susceptible to a wide variety of malware. Our total addressable market is annually $3.3 billion, which accounts for our annual charge times the estimated number of computers in the USA. We expect this market to double in the next three to five years. The image on the left is of our website, which showcases our program and displays the advantages that we have over our competitors. Its layout is simple, modern, and easy to use. The image on the right is of our working prototype that is linked to our website and provides a demonstration of how our product works. We surveyed 200 individuals that work for small businesses, the majority of whom provided positive feedback. We found that the users want additional security measures for their devices, such as the service Asteria provides, and this helped us identify our primary market. Our competition chart displays our indirect competitor, traditional virus scanners, and direct AI-based competitors like Deep Instinct, AirGap, and DarkTrace. These companies focus on different technologies. For example, AirGap focuses on network security, Darktrace works on hardware-based network security, and Deep Instinct employs clever user management. These businesses are VC-backed and funded. Deep Instinct and Darktrace, mid-sized companies, are further along, while AirGap is small and has just received their initial round of funding. By performing predictive analytics on day zero attacks, Asteria is leagues apart from all their competitors who react after a virus attack. Since old guard incumbents like Norton and McAfee are unable to detect or prevent day zero attacks, we expect them to lose business to AI-based smaller and newer players. The desire of these incumbents to stay in the market makes us, Asteria, their prime acquisition target. We expect to build partnerships with virus scanners such as McAfee and enhance their software effectiveness by adding the predictive capability of our software to their customer bundle. Independent of these incumbents, we expect to showcase our product at trade shows and do free customer implementation for an initial period of three to six months. Since our product is one of a kind and new to the cybersecurity market, we will make efforts to advertise it effectively through Google. We have a yearly plan that rivals the prices of most anti-malware scanners. Our freemium edition gives customers incentive to use our product and expands our reachable market, decreasing our long-term customer acquisition costs. Here we present our five-year revenue projections. Our first year revenue is approximately $2.8 million. Here we present our five-year cost projections. Our estimated first-year cost is approximately $3.1 million. We plan to invest in innovation and research each year to further develop our application and keep customers engaged in our product for the long term. This is our five-year net profit projections. We break even at year three. Our revenue and cost projections are also shown here. Through our business journey, we have spoken to esteemed professionals in a multitude of fields. This is what one of them, a hospital administrator, had to say. I think it is a very useful software. I mean, you come to think of it, if the networks like the National Health Service in the UK could get hacked by ransomware, I mean, it, it, it is, seems to be the need of the hour, so to speak. So yeah, we should definitely, we would definitely be interested in something like this. In addition, we got in touch with the program manager at Microsoft who stated that there had never been a product like ours on the market before. Our roadmap here illustrates what Asira has accomplished and what remains to be done in our business journey. Having created a website and a working prototype, as well as having filed a business solution patent, we're pretty far into the entrepreneurial process. Our next step is to beta test our computer application, after which we can launch Asteria globally. We have filed for a business solution patent and have already met with a patent attorney to discuss plans of filing a more specific patent to ensure the protection of our software. In addition, we have reached out to several companies, such as NetVision Resources and Lazard, who we introduced to our product. They express interest in our product and are ready to begin moving forward with beta testing. Here are images of, the, images of the patent and letter of approval that were provided by the companies. We are seeking a seed fund of up to $500,000 for a 20% equity stake in our company. We will use our fund to take our working prototype to a production server and to hire marketing professionals and engineers to deploy our product for the two companies that have already shown interest.
We are grateful to our technical mentors from AWS, NASA, and more. Our mentors helped us extensively in iterating, designing, and testing our program, as well as grounding us in terms of product practicality. Our business canvas explains how we strategize our solution. While putting our canvas together, we came across the detrimental effects of cyber attacks for companies and individuals. Though our target market initially consisted of bigger businesses, we noticed a lack of cyber protection for smaller companies and pivoted towards this market instead. Make no mistake, there are risks and threats to this business. One of the incumbents may decide to pursue a similar AI-based product, or another AI-based competitor may enter the predictive analytics market. Nevertheless, we've tried to build a deep motor on our product by filing for an IP patent and developing several sophisticated machine learning algorithms that are not easy to replicate. Additionally, we have an expert panel of mentors that have received endorsement from many professionals in the field, including Mr. Vint Cerf, Chief Internet Evangelist and Vice President of Google. Hello, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Google's Vice President and Chief Internet Evangelist, and I've had the opportunity to meet several times with Alicia Luthra. She's uh, demonstrated considerable ability to uh, assemble tools and to learn how to use them uh, from very sophisticated sources, ranging from the TensorFlow system at Google's cloud uh, to uh, our uh, virus total database, which contains a substantial amount of information about malware that is occurring in the wild. So I'm happy to endorse uh, Alicia's uh, application uh, in this uh, particular uh, event. And I hope that uh, the value of her work is recognized by the judges. We would like to thank our judges for their time today and NetVision Resources for the opportunity to beta test our product. Are there any questions? Okay, so if Mr. Sheets would like to present. Thank you. So impressive, uh, for sure. So who on the team is writing and testing the code? How far along have you gotten to, to validate that? And you, you talked about your timeline, but what are those next steps? Um, so I was the one um, writing some of the code and then, um, and then along with our mentors, so that's kind of how we put that together. Um, our next steps are doing beta testing. Um, we're already in the process of beta testing from NetVision resources and just getting more customers to beta test and eventually those will be our final customers. Jeremy? Uh, I have a question around uh, the idea that you have to do prediction rather than detection, which is really interesting. And in this uh, idea of prediction, where you're unique, as you showed in the competitive table, have you thought about or what, what might the implications be if you fail to predict accurately and that some business is affected by, the, by a malware and you know, is shut down? Is there liability exposure, other things like that that might impact your business? Um, thank you for the question. I'm going to direct this question to Ananya. So we will not, we plan to not take any responsibility for if this occurs. And this is because we will have business liability insurance. And with our predicting analytics, we will never have a 100% accuracy. And the user understands that and then signs our contracts. Once again, we don't want to act as a substitute to traditional virus scan scanners. We want to act as a complementary tool that just enhances protection, which um, we want to address to our customers. And in addition, we do have, like in our financials, our legal and insurance costs increasing year by year to mitigate any problems that may occur. Mr. Brushin, if you would like to ask your question. Uh, definitely an impressive presentation. Uh, every business faces some practical challenges um, during implementation. What are the top three challenges you guys uh, believe uh, would be um, would you would you would be facing during implementation? Um, I'm going to direct this question to Alicia. Yes, yeah, so we have um we we do face some risks such as market integration, and this is one of the risks we face. Um, we plan to get most of our customers 
from partnering with uh, virus scanners such as Norton and McAfee. So if we don't get these partnerships, then it will be harder for us to get our customers. So that's one risk. Second is suing or damage caused by false positives. I mean, we plan to have risk mitigation by user agreement contracts, but this is always a risk. And then our third risk is just bankruptcy. Um, since this is a new product, we plan to do everything we can to avoid this. However. Mr. Martin, please, who would like to go? I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, good presentation. Uh, I see that you have been, so you surveyed a lot of small business owners and targeting small business, but considering that your partnerships are with Norton, and uh, uh, McAfee, which is probably also more on the consumer side, any specific reason why you are focusing only on small business users? So cyber attacks are only becoming more prevalent in recent years. And 30.2 million small businesses in the USA, 64% of those who run their company on the web, are prime targets of these attacks. And without backup funds, these ransomware attacks will completely take them off the market and destroy their business. So our product is a really easy and efficient way for them for uh, their, them to protect, protect themselves and their business. Our freemium plan attracts them in initially, and once they see the value of our product, they will stay with us for a long period of time, lowering their customer acquisition costs. Initially, decision making is more simple with smaller businesses as there's only one level of managing to go through instead of larger businesses, which is many levels, and access to smaller companies are, is much easier. Good. So that wraps up for Q&A. Thank you so much, Team DC. Great job. So now the judges will have five minutes for deliberation and transition. We will also be taking a break until 1130.